time is supposed to digest what happened last night, what's the feeling like this morning? Yeah, well we missed a number of chances and uh, I suppose the good thing is we say in the last couple of weeks we were creating them and we weren't taking them and uh, last night I suppose the, the problem in a game like this is when um, when you're dominating and um, you need to put, put them away mm -hmm. and uh, so it was frustrating on two accounts, we did create a number of very good chances, didn't take them, <clears throat> then with the head and conceded a very soft goal so they're, that, that's frustrating so you know as I keep saying back in the training pitch this morning the guys you can't feel sorry for yourself you take your, get your head up and get working hard and that, that's, that's the only way to turn these things around you can see after the uh, equaliser last night the head's dropping from the lads the pressure getting them ah yeah well they're under pressure you know that's that's just the way it is and you know I keep saying you know there's pressure when you're at the top going for trophies there's pressure when you're down and the results aren't going your way and at the moment unfortunately um, you know you know some of the lads are, are, are playing within themselves and uh, you know there's no doubt at home there is that extra pressure because you know everyone wants us to win and um, you know if mistakes are made that these things happen and you're right when the goal went in it was disappointing because uh, our heads went down and um, I suppose the feeling was we had a number of opportunities to put the game away by that, by that stage and we hadn't done that. Is it too simple to say it's just luck you need that little bit of luck to get that win get that confidence back? Yeah, well, I'm I'm slow to I'm slow to use the word luck. I think sometimes I, I know you know I know what you're saying, Rory, and you know there has been some decisions in the last couple of weeks that haven't gone with us that might have gone with us before. And you're saying about luck, but ultimately, uh, it's really about you know we have to work, keep working hard, working harder. You know, you can blame we've had suspensions, we've had injuries. You know, we ha we haven't had a, a set run since the start, and the strength and depth hasn't been what we've been used to. But at the same time, you know, you still have to get back to basics, work hard, get concentration, and. Uh, you know, you can't say that Harp's score was anything spectacular, made, made spectacularly. It was, uh, you know, it was a, a couple of errors on our behalf and we have to try and cut those out. Do you know, fair to say that you're finding it hard to get a full performance from your team? Like, you'd be playing well in patches, but to try and get a full performance from your team must be frustrating. It's, it's was the nearest you got to it. was probably goals, was it? The home one? Well, I think we, we, had, we had a number of, at the time, you know, we had been away in Sligo, being in Harp, so we, we Derry went. 10 out of 12 in that time against Bowles and then there was the break for a couple of weeks and uh, you know there's no doubt we, we, we've been on a horrible run for the last the last four weeks and um, you know you're, you're, you're right to say would you like more consistency we would um, obviously in games you know at our times when we've played very well or certain games in the last couple of weeks we've played very well but we haven't been as consistent but you get patches like that I suppose the, the, the key thing is when you're ahead in games and you're you're making chances you have to take those opportunities and that's been the disappointing thing about it at the moment but um, you know you know I keep saying to the lads you know you can't feel sorry for yourself if you get back up massive game Friday obviously massive underdogs winning against both but we have to work as hard as we can and you know, uh, you know, if you keep doing that, you'll you, you'll change your form. But at the at the moment, it doesn't look that way. But that, that, that's that, that's just the way it is in sport. Yeah, I suppose John, like like lo like winning becomes a habit. Losing, unfortunately, becomes a habit as well. Is that in the players' minds that you've talked to about that? Like seasoned player, experienced players like Carl and Graham missing really good chances. Yeah, it's frustrating because I suppose they're frustrated with themselves because um, they're not you know they've scored very little goals this year. You know what I mean? And that's you know uh, Graham has generally been. A prolific uh, through his career um, obviously came in last year got 14 league goals from play you know he's frustrated <coughs> this year he, you know he's only got one from one from play and one penalty you know Carl is frustrated when Carl has been out for a number of games he's missed he's missed over half the matches so is Carol Morrissey you know so you know so from that point of view Daryl Connor you know so there's been a few fellas that have been missing for Carl it's been frustrating because he's you know he's had a bit of a back issue and he's come in the last couple of games and hasn't clicked for him. And uh, but the, look at the main thing. You know, I said to him, he was in there to miss the chances. He has to keep getting in there, and you know, he had to, to target. And I think what frustrated last night was that out of out of three of the chances he had, two of them he missed the target, and you have to stay at the target to have any chance. So, yeah, but it is frustrating for the lads, and um, you know, there's no hiding place, and you know, people are you know unhappy that we're not winning. And you know, I suppose in the last three games, we have drawn two and lost one in the last three, but at the same time, two of the home games have been draws and they've been games that we felt we could have won and we haven't. And obviously, John, like you're confident that, that there are big performances like in this in this team, the squad of players, right? I feel confident enough there's, there's big performances to come. Well, I'm saying that like, I can, there's a talented group there, but at the end of the day, you know, we need guys to, you know, to, to, to step up to the mark and to play it. And, you know, look, it's no different. You know, you can talk to the coach from home about, you know, Sean McLaughlin, Dan Casey, 
Conor, Conor, Conor McCarthy, James Tilly, all these that are coming through, and they're all young guys, and and, and, and they can make mistakes. The problem at the moment, it's highlighting within the group at the moment. There's too many being made, so you know we can see they are talented lads, and they're learning and they're learning quick and being under pressure and being criticised, and you know the crowd on your back is a huge learning. And you know if you want to be a top player, you'll fight through it. You know if you if you don't and you hide away, you you'll fade away. But I believe in all these guys, and we see the talent every day. But at the moment, as as a group. There's a lot of work to do, but certainly we feel we're better than our results have shown. But at the moment, we, have to, we, we're, we're, we are where we are, we haven't done enough, and we have to turn around. Sorry, John, I'm just, just to bow with Jeremy for you, and just the challenge that they're being asked to try at the moment, you know what I mean? Just your thoughts on them, and so the challenge that you're going to face with the end fight night. Yeah, well, I think the thing with bows is that you see over the last three years, there was a lot of talk, even a couple of years about Keith and Trevor, were they the right people, and I believe it. Two years ago, we were saying should be gone, you know, and all of a sudden they were persistent with them, and you know they 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 they've been bringing a number of players through, and and um, you know they've 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 got a quite a quite a few good players from England back from England, Dublin lads who've turned out to be very good, but they've had the same consistency, I, I suppose. If you look at, they still have the, the cleverness of of Cochrane and and Ward and Keith Buckley and Pender, you know these guys, but they've mixed them in with some some brilliant players and. You know they're a team on form. They went away to Rovers. Went away to Derry last night. You know so they're they're, they're playing well and, and it's great to see for both for the team up to the top challenging and um, and uh, so look at it's an incredibly tough game for us. You know but you know we have to try and go in and meet the challenge head on. You know obviously um, their form suggests there's only one winner in the night but you know we have to make sure that we can we can get back to high levels of performance.